So today I talked to the doctors and asked what needs to happen for me to get out of the hospital and I need to have two negative nasal swabs. But then when I go back to my quarantine hotel, my quarantine time starts back at zero. So I've been here for five days, but once I can finally leave here, um, I have to quarantine for 14 days in the hotel and then an extra week community monitoring. So I thought I could make it to work around mid-autumn festival, but I'm definitely not gonna make it there probably until October. But I did get a delivery to the hospital today, so let's check it out. So I've been here long enough to need a second delivery. I asked my coworker to buy me a few more things and she added on a surprise, bless her, because that's what's getting me through. I got these Oreos, they're Oreo Thins. They were supposed to be original according to the picture, but these are lemon cheesecake and they're probably really delicious. I'm excited to try them. Just original Dove chocolate bars. And then she surprised me with a latte. And then she also got me some Chips Ahoy. Y'all, it's 5.15 in the morning. They just came in and did my nasal swab, like woke me up and let's go, it's go time. Um, um, she doesn't know when the next test is going to be, so we just have to wait and see what these results are, and then I guess they'll decide when to do the second test so that I can get out of here. But we did not get the test results that we were hoping for, so just forever waiting, I guess. Forever. And ever. So it's 5.15 in the morning. They just came in and did my nasal swab. And if you feel like this is Groundhog Day, it's because it is. <laughs> Guys, one of my friends was worried about me not eating enough in the hospital. And so she bought me some stuff and usually it comes in just a shopping bag, but this has come in a whole entire box. I don't know what she bought, let's see. Got tissues, toilet paper, cause you know, you have to have your own, you have to buy your own here or bring it. It's not just like here at the hospital. There's chips. So many chips. Oh yeah. Some pickled vegetables so I can keep eating these with rice on days where like the food is not good. Oh, coffee. Chips Ahoy. Oreos. Oh my gosh. She saw probably on my Instagram I was posting about this coffee and I drank a ton of it already. Yay! Lots of different noodles. Oh, this. This one was good. Noodles. Oh my gosh, chocolate. Tiramisu coffee cake. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so excited. Even if I don't test negative, I'm like, set and don't have to eat hospital food for weeks. All right, we are very happy today because at lunch, I got the tomatoes, finally something that's uncooked. And then the giant box of goodies from my friend. And now we have a new vegetable added and it's bean sprouts because until this point, it's been like cabbage for days. So finally, I can eat something new. I'm very excited. I should be packing my things up in preparation to leave my quarantine hotel tomorrow because that would have been my 14th day of quarantine. And instead, I'm still here at the hospital. Um, if we stay here any longer, 
my unibrow from middle school is going to reconnect. So again this morning, the nurse with the worst nasal swabbing technique comes at me and she's just going straight up. And at that point, you're just violently picking my nose and nobody wants that. So yesterday's hospital lunch and dinner was actually pretty good because we got some new vegetables like bean sprouts and good amounts of carrot and tomatoes. But then for today, we went back to cabbage and broccoli. So luckily my lovely friend sent me some noodles. So today for lunch, we're gonna try one of these noodles. All right, here's the noodles we're gonna try today. Mushroom and stewed chicken noodles. Y'all, I'm a fool. I pulled the whole lid off like an idiot. <laughs> We're off to a really good start today. We troubleshooted the problem. I saved my rice from lunch. Um, so I'm just using that to keep the lid on. How long does this have to sit? Do we have directions? Last time we did not. And I said to wait 10 minutes and it was fine. No. Okay, well, we'll wait 10 minutes and we'll come back and see how this goes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's check it out. It smells good. Alright, the noodle time. pretty good. It has like a little bit of a tangy flavor. I like the beef ones better, but these are pretty good. I've been in China for two weeks and maybe all but 12 hours of that has been spent in the hospitals, but finally today we got a negative test result. So thank you to everyone who has been reaching out. My hospital test result just came back negative. So that's two negatives from the hospital. Once I get confirmation from the CDC that I am negative, then I should be able to head back to my quarantine hotel the day after tomorrow. This morning I did an extra test. I thought I was done yesterday, I was not. There's just some misunderstandings and lack of clarity of the situation. And because the hospital today is short staffed and has done a staff rotation, um, I can't get the answers to my questions. So tomorrow, supposedly, I'm supposed to be able to be leaving the hospital.